things. They just want to rip each other apart. So it's like, what's the point? A lot of these facts have been out there. You know what I mean? Yeah. So there's a lot there. I don't really what, know what I was trying to say there, but the the creative process is a is a struggle because it's not just about trying to get the ideas out, but then it's like, does anyone give a shit? Is this even going to matter? You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and fighting past that, it, it can be really difficult sometimes. Yeah. I think too, it can be demoralizing. Um, when you're trying to, yeah. And in, in many ways, I feel like a, a square peg trying to fit into a round hole. Like, mm -hmm. am I putting out something that society even gives a shit about or wants? Yep. Um, and I also have to come into acceptance with that too. You know, I think that there were so many years that, I was writing for no one and no reason. And uh, hilariously, as we were talking about earlier, was when I was probably the most delusional. And I think <laughs> now that I'm like in the competitive market, I'm like, oh, I need to get better. There's so much room to grow. Um, and my own self critique of my, and I'm aware of my place. You know, I had a, <laughs> I had this guy be like hey if we close this deal you're gonna be the smallest deal that i close i'm like <laughs> yes I, I know i'm not a big deal like, thank you for the, telling me that <laughs> in the scheme that's the thing is there's no there there and there that and there's always more you know there's always until you're like at joe rogan's level there's nowhere else to go and then where does he go like I, it's got to be hard even for people like him. hunting for weeks on end that's where he goes and it doesn't yeah. he can do that <laughs> yeah I mean he's I, I don't think he's like upset but I think that there there you know there's there's probably things that he wants to do there's always yeah. more there's always yeah. more striving and how do you balance um how do you balance ambition and sanity you know like that 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 striving constantly and balancing that with just being healthy and gratitude really yep. like that is that is the tension I think um when I'm feeling demoralized or when I'm feeling like what's the point of this or does anyone care or do I even care or what's it all for, or any of the nihilistic thinking that can take over my, and in fact, my whole brain. Um, that's when I have to really come back into the moment and look around and be like, I built this, I made this. It has been something that I've, I, I have wanted to be um, a creative forever since I was 19. And I'm, it took me many many decades to get to this point of hard work and persistence and failure a shit load of failure <laughs> yeah uh, yeah that's why I like look around at people with confidence and in their opinions and in their place and they're like I belong here you know like I'm just like the voice of reason I'm like how do you get like this you know that's like, a red what? flag to me man that's a red <laughs> flag to me and if someone's confident in that stuff I'm like I just I don't, don't I don't know. It's just a very strange. I I've always looked at people with confidence like they're science fiction characters. You yeah. know, like where did you? And it's funny. Even some of it, I think, is just genetic. I think that I have. I'm pre-wired to be. Um, my mom always used to be like, "Why are you so deep? You're such a deep thinker. It's gonna be life is gonna be so hard for you." <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, mom. What the hell? <laughs> and my other sister is like so freaking confident and was honestly born that way she just was like i'm like here i am and she's you're confident welcome in her choices yeah very <laughs> much and confident in her choices and is very much like get on board or get out of the way like you're mm. either with me or you're my sworn enemy or you're just dead to me and she was like that when she was four. I'm the oldest. I remember her being just, I remember looking at her being like, how does this child have such a deep sense of self? And I feel perpetually confused. And I think there's always a, a part of me that feels a little bit lost, you know, even still. 
That's um, called humility. You want to keep that. I don't know. It just, I, do, I don't think it is truly like the more I learn, the less I know. I just don't, I don't know how anyone can be certain of anything in this reality that we're in right now. And I, I really do have to, it's hard because you've got to go, go like macro to micro, you know, mm-hmm. I think I have to, I can pull out and that's what happens when I start doom scrolling is you're just pulled out in the macro and you're like, everything is shit. Everything is yep. shit. Everyone is shit. And then you look around and you have this great life and you're neglecting that great life and all of the amazingness for all of these things that are ultimately like, what power do I have over any of those 